So Maya, during one of the shot shows, let seven knives get stolen. Did I? Is this true, Maya? Seven? Seven. You know how I know? Oh. Because I sold those for... Oh, hey, Dylan. Tactical! <laughs> Because this is coming out after after these videos come okay, out. Yeah, so everyone, this is these are jokes. All right, we have a lot of fun at shows. We appreciate everybody that comes by, even if we're even if we're making a little bit of fun here. It's just that's that's all it is. It's just fun. We actually we, we don't mean any yeah, harm. It's, it's just that all the booths see this. It's coming for a lot of people, not just not just our huh? tactical. Yeah, we not mean like that. All right, let's get started before oh, you guys. Yeah, I have a question. So since it is shot show week, and usually we display or show prototypes, can we show some? Something. Something? Yeah. Mm, no. I mean, you can show stuff that we haven't. That Regular crate. New stuff. Well, you know what? You, I don't think a lot of people have actually seen the change we did to Thank the. Thank you. Just don't show the table. To the camp creek. I won't show the table. You know, oh no! Yeah, those? we haven't showed the changes. There we go. Finally. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank so, you. You're welcome. Uh, You're welcome. This is a reworking of the Camp Creek, Camp Creek Fire oh, Edition. Oh, he ruined it. So if you guys, if you guys saw it at last year's shot show, it's pretty cool. I thought I had one, over here, but I don't. That no, one's they're all upstairs. I've got them all locked away. So um, basically, we've made a complete overhaul of the handle for the Camp Creek Fire Edition. That's why it hasn't been released yet. We've made some changes here and there. This is a completely unfinished knife but it'll give you an idea of what we're doing with the handle so oh, wow. Look at that. if you remember the original camp creek fire edition it uh it was a lot more like the original camp creek mm. um but we wanted to i don't know it just wasn't leo just wasn't quite digging it it just wasn't quite right and so uh, a few months ago he actually redrew this um we ran a couple of prototype handles we're probably going to end up going with uh red and black g10 Black G10 on the bottom, red G10 on the top, um, and the blade is basically the same, but the uh, the handles. Get what about a, the finish? Getting a major overhaul. Is it gonna be like that, kind of? Is it gonna be like the finish? The finish. Oh, tumble, uh, definitely or... not like that. This is this is a this is not even coated. This is just a sandblasted blade that we put some handle on. So, the finish is gonna be more of a tumble finish, similar to the to the other Camp Creek. Right. But uh, yeah, so and this finish isn't anything what it's going to look like. And there's not necessarily anything wrong with the other Camp Creek. It's just no? that he, for his hand, I guess he preferred a change or the way he was using it, right? Yeah, I think mostly what it was is that it was just kind of too narrow overall. And so he wanted a little bit more bulk, especially in the back part of the handle. And so that's why that got a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger overall. We also have the sheath already ironed out for it. So we're going to have red and black handles. We're going to have the, the black sheath with red stitching looks pretty pretty good the uh ignore the double logo stamp this is all prototypes so you know you this get what you get this is what people don't see yeah yeah you never see the stuff that we like mess around with and have 10 different 10 different logos on it and stuff in the in different spots and you know we just don't show that usually because yeah like this one that's oh, not oh. what you want to see <laughs> so uh yeah i think you got nervous no he thought i was gonna show yeah you can show that one i don't care no i was gonna grab that one uh, that's not ours. So, so we can't, so show, we can't that. show that. One. But I'm gonna show it. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, which, no. one, which ones are coming out soon? Okay. This bad boy will be our next release. The Bestia and the fillet knife. These will be coming out at the same time, hopefully this week. Mm -hmm. That's our hope. That's our goal. If not, it'll be hopefully next week. <laughs> I have such a hard time giving a specific date anymore. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Bessie and the fillet knife, this is 1095. This one's going to be 154 cm. So it's going to be a nice stainless steel. It's uh, it's a little thicker, I think, than a lot of other fillet knives out there. So it's not going to have quite as much flex as maybe some people are used to. But there are some people out there that prefer a little bit stiffer fillet knife. So if that's if that's you, if you're you, if you've always thought, hey, these fillet knives are too flimsy, too flexible, you're gonna love this one. It's uh, it's really cool. And then, after those, that we've got boy. the high impact. I'm gonna own one of these for sure. These are sweet. 
Um, this is going to come, this thing is so heavy. We don't, I mean, I'm sure there's some guys out there that are going to want to carry it on their belt. It's just heavy. So all we're doing is making a blade cover. This is perfect to throw in a pack, throw in your truck, throw in your, in your, in your, you know, in your camping, in your shed or where your camping trailer, whatever, whatever you use. Um, yeah, this mm -hmm. thing's awesome. It's big enough to use with two hands, um, but not too heavy that you can't chop with only one. Uh, so yeah, I dig that one. And we might give one away. Hopefully. I mean, yeah, I think that's kind of, we're kind of working out the details on some kind of a giveaway with that. This and one then, keeps getting us a pro. This guy. Ooh, your finger was so close to that. Was it? Yeah. No. I'm I mean, good. you're used to it, but. I know. Well, the thing is, I just know as long as I'm behind that thread, I'm not gonna cut myself. Yeah. So, but see, like looking at people taking them out that don't know how to take them out, like would have worried me. That made I just I, I didn't realize yeah. that it was you. So safety for, for a minute safety, there. Uh, safety tip for those of you out there: don't put your finger here when you're taking a knife out of the sheath. You need to be behind the opening. Definitely. I usually grab it like way out the way out the front. But. Anyway, this bad boy. The uh, we're calling them all bad boys. They're all bad boys. Bad um, boys, bad boys. Uh, yes. Anyway, the brush wolf. What you gonna do? I, you know what? This one, the more I, the more I handle this knife, the more I like it. I remember when we first prototyped it. In my head, I saw it being like five inches bigger, just like a larger overall knife. And so when we first made it, I was like, "That's weird." But the more I hold this thing, the more the more I like it. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Um, yeah. So that estimated one. date. This is coming after. Uh, yeah, so the uh, the high impact and the brush wolf will be right after the best fillet knife, knife and, best and the fillet knife. Mm -hmm. So we're talking like February, early February if possible. Mm -hmm. That's um, the plan. Yeah. So I like and that, that sheath one. is sick too. I really like yeah. that sheath. <laughs> the Sonoran, this one's gonna be sweet too. That one's a little different, you said, right? Uh, the hand really the only change is the handle. Hey, can we show that that paper? The handle's gonna be about a half an inch longer. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The handle on this one, it's all said and done, will be about half an inch longer. But other than that, it's uh, pretty true to to his original drawing. Yeah, so check out his original drawing because yeah. he he'd have he had notes all over the place. Man, look the at that. The guy that uh, yeah, the guy That's that designed awesome. this, his name is uh, is David Holiday. He is he's a he's an adventurer. He's a he's an artist. He's a musician. He's this guy is a nomad i mean he's got he's got more dirt time than just about anybody else out there like in fact sometimes just trying to get a hold of him to talk through little details about things is hard because he's he'll just leave and he'll be gone off the grid no electronics for weeks month at a time um I, the first time i called to talk to his wife she was like, uh, well, he was supposed to be back today, but I guess he's probably just out a little bit longer. I guess I'll see him when I see him. She's used like, to it. She was not worried at all that he wasn't back when he was saying he was going to be back. Like, she just expected him to be maybe another week or maybe another day. She wasn't, but she was not worried at all that he wasn't going to show up. That's crazy. So, uh, yeah, it was, uh, he, he's a cool guy though, man. A lot of, lot of knowledge and a lot of that knowledge is from like actual experience outside doing stuff. Um, cool guy. One last one. Which one? The Hornero. The Hornero? Okay. That was close too. Yeah, that was close. Ignore the sheath on this one because we are actually going to put this into Kydex. But yeah, this one uh, this one came to us from uh, a guy actually from Argentina. Is it going to be like this or any changes? This. This is it. No, they're really the only changes. Instead of that leather sheath, we're going to be putting it in Kydex. Other than that, this is uh, this is pretty much good to go as it is. And you said it came from Argentina. Yeah, the guy that designed this is from Argentina. He's uh, he's got a lot of he's got a lot of wilderness experience. Uh, he's he's been kind of like a guide and kind of a teacher for uh, for youngsters and adults alike. Um, he's part of a group down there that uh, they just go out and like practice skills together and and they'll camp for like a weekend and and things like that. So, um, you know, kind of a uh, kind of cool to get some yeah. some designs and some expertise from people uh outside of the u.s that are uh that are into this kind of stuff too so i really like this one that that handle is just like real i don't know it's just real it's real comfortable it's just really nice you know sorry jesus no you're fine i just i don't know i've always uh, this one from the first 
time I saw it, I was like, yeah, I like that one. It's just going to be comfortable. So Yeah, I like that handle being longer than the blade. I don't know, it's just... Yeah, yeah, you know, like this blade length, I mean, you're talking about three inches, you know, about three, 3.5 inches. That blade length is going to do 90% of your cutting tasks. Like almost anything you need to cut, that's going to do the job. And then you got this handle that's long enough for just about any size hand. I'm, I'm, I wear usually medium or large size gloves. Uh, Leo usually wears large or extra large. Fits, fits my hand great, fits his hand great. Um, I wear triple XL gloves. Sure but... you do. But they're really loose. <laughs> and sometimes and sometimes that's really hard to do to find a handle that will fit multiple hand sizes and be comfortable to everybody that picks it up. So this guy, he did a really good job of, of drawing that out. I like that knife. Yeah, I'm pretty good get one of those. So I, I have a question too. Sure. Uh, something that I saw, because uh, obviously we go through and we watch like Aaron, Aaron's videos from Gideon's Tactical and Tim. And they recently did a lot on the uh, Trail Seeker. Yes. And, and you know how that was Lisa's knife. Mm -hmm. One comment that kept showing up on there, they're like, why don't you let, like, outside people turn in designs? They're like, you would get so many more. Well, well we well, get too so, many now. So <laughs> that, I was going to explain it to him, but I'll let you explain yeah. it to him. We, we do get designs from outside designers uh, multiple times a week. Not just every now and then, like, multiple times a week. We have people from outside sending us this, sending us that. Some designs are really good. Some designs are mediocre. Some designs are basically somebody else's design and they've made a little change, um, which, you know, we, we tend to stay away from that stuff as much as possible. The thing is, people don't realize that we, we're planned out basically all of this year, all of next year, and into 2023 with designs that we're going to use so it's hard, it's hard for us to pick from those designs because we get so many of them that we just can't, we can't even take a quarter of them. Like it's not even, it, there's just not enough time for us to release enough models to take that many outside designs. So the other part of that is it's getting harder and harder for us to see an outside design and not say, well, this looks like this kind of knife or this looks like somebody else's model. It's just... You know, not everything that gets sent to us is 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 gonna be golden, you know, and and it's just it's it's hard because, like I say, when you get multiple new designs a week, like there's no way we could take them all. It's just not that's just not even feasible. So we do, and the ones that we that we like the best, we we add them to the lineup. Like the Brush Wolf, this is this this is an outside designer. This one's an out the Sonoran is from an outside designer. You know that the Hornero is from an outside designer. You know, probably, uh, probably a third of what we debuted last year was from people who are not Tops employees. So we do take them. We just don't take all of them. We can't. Yeah, it'd be hard. Yeah. Those were badass videos, though. Aaron and uh, Tim, right? From Everyday Tactical. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Some good video videos. If you haven't seen those, go watch those. I was watching them earlier. I shared Tim's. I haven't had a chance to watch either one of them yet. Yeah. It's funny because they talk about each other. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Tim was like, what did he say? He's like, I saw Aaron doing a review on the on the Storm back there. He's like, so I was like, let me do the Trail Seeker. He's like, and then I saw that he released the Trail Seeker review video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, it, I, th I thought it was funny how they were just talking about each other. And like... Well, the thing is, they're both going to do a quality review, mm -hmm. but they'll both kind of have a little different take on it. You know, so it's uh, that, that's good. Yeah. They should do like a review off. Where review they, off. That's a good idea. Where they try to. We should get cut different things. We should get like three or four of those guys on the podcast the same day, and have them hash it out. Like talk talk like what they like about each other's channel and what they don't like. Without them knowing that the other guy's yeah. listening. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, I don't like. It. Let's cut this part out. And then... <laughs> yeah. Cu hey, hey, cut this out. Yeah. You know what that? don't you like about this guy? <laughs> Cut this part out. We'll, we'll cut it for you. Right at the end. Oh, hey, Tim, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut it out, but he heard what you just said. Yeah. That'd yeah. be funny. Awkward. All right, well, thanks, Craig. Cool. Yeah, you bet. They'll satisfy their needs for a little bit, I guess. Yeah. We're still going to get asked. Oh, of course. When's it coming? Did you say we're still going to get asked? Asked. Asked. We'll probably get employed. Oh, there he is. I got that one. Good. 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 Hi. How's the, how's the podcast table coming along? It's coming. I went to buy some.
tools to finish it. Is it true John keeps John messing up? A mess up there. Huh? John started oh, the fire. burned it down, yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, did you guys go up there? Yeah, we went up there and there was a bunch of smoke. Yeah. And we didn't find John. We thought he was passed out. But it turns out he was looking for something downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he almost burned the place down. Yeah. Yeah, it was smoky. Well, look, it's Mrs. Leo. Here? What? So here we have it? Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Leo. <laughs> Mrs. Leo? You're walking around with barbecue sauce? Yeah, yeah. we're going to make some barbecue. We're going to make some ribs. ribs. Oh. The smoker. Oh, I was shit. like, what? for my house, Jesus. I want some ribs. Can you bring some extra ribs tomorrow? No. Oh, well, because there's two, there's two racks. In no, package. I'm not going to bring any because no. Jesus just. I usually bring some when nobody asks, but when somebody asks and I don't. Thanks, Jesus. Good job, Jesus. <laughs> I, got, I got one so. for Jesus. I like the, the camera technique. Oh my god. I'm fucking... Walking up the stairs. Good at John's. Just kidding. <laughs> Keep it clean, Edgar. Damn it. All the, look, we came up here and John wasn't doing anything. And now you're up here. He looks like he's actually working. Yeah, Edgar. What's it called when people tell the truth? Yeah, being honest. Honesty. Honesty? I guess. Frank. I guess. Being frank. <laughs> being truthful. Uh, should we keep going? <laughs> should get. That's right. I should take my skulls back. He probably has meetings and he's got all these skulls on his... All this random stuff. First of all, why do you have so many skulls? Huh? Mike gave me this one, I don't know why. Are you having like a Day of the Dead celebration back there? <laughs> no, he gave me this one and then these I don't know why I have. But this one dances pretty cool. Look at that shit. You know what's funny? He dances better than Junior. Right? <laughs>